Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Aries. So Aries, of course, watch it. Wherever you have the planetary placement in your chart, please try to claim the energy in a helpful, positive manner for yourself or just leave this reading right where it is for someone else, yeah? Now let's hit this. Clearing ground for Aries, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source. The Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the highest good of our collective of Aries. Aries' energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field, and it can be past, present, or future. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, here we go. Aries, any planetary placements... Clearly and concisely, ancestors, for everyone's highest, highest good. Please and thank you. We are truly grateful. All right. We have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Aries. All right, look. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Obviously, right off the bat, somebody could be having some kind of financial problems. Somebody here might be greedy. Somebody here might be obsessed with wealth. Somebody here might be envious. Somebody here might be financially dependent. You have to be careful with this energy. This is not a energy of somebody who is very self-sufficient or hardworking or going to put any effort into anything that may not be very sensible or down-to-earth, this person. Definitely not good with the finances, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy. Show me. You also, oh, there's going to be a transformation. All right, well, that's a good thing. Look, we're in the upright like always. Always in five Aries. So, death. Some kind of, you know, transition. Some kind of transformation. Death is the 13th card. So the 13th or the 31st can be of significance. That reduces to four. So something about April. It is Scorpio energy. It's a big change. It's an ending. It's time to move on. It's a transformation. It's a rebirth, okay? It's death. Some kind of upheaval, perhaps. Somebody transitioning. Show me. Foundation, yeah, eight of swords. Somebody was stuck up in the head with worry, fear, anxiety. Yeah. Somebody, you know, is making a problem for every solution. Somebody might have felt like their back was up against a wall or their hands were tied in a situation, but they were restricted and powerless in some kind of a situation, okay? Probably, you know, just making a problem for every solution, like I tell you guys. Somebody might have felt like they were caught in some kind of a web or something. Show me. Somebody could be cleaning out their closets. Like, you know, you know when you start transferring your clothes around for the seasons or maybe just cleaning out their closets on any metaphoric level, okay? Now, you do have the Ten of Cups in reverse here. Could have been at the foundation of this situation. Depending on where you were in the timeline, if you're on this timeline, you know, it's different for everybody. But when you have a Ten of Cups in reverse, this could have been a broken marriage, some kind of empty nest, family trouble, not feeling like you have the total love and support or the contentment of having a family. You know, it's a Ten of Cups in reverse. Domestic conflict, disharmony, a misalignment, some kind of disconnection. Show me. Crowning. This Queen of Pentacles could be a business owner, a business person, or a mother or a mother figure. That, you know, if it is a mother or a mother figure, there could be some kind of transition going on, okay? And maybe somebody was stuck up in the head about it, but somebody, you know, there's a lack of feeling loved here. Or supported in some way. Show me. Now, you also have the sun. This is very good. This is very good. Crowning you. Leo energy. The 19th could be of significance. That reduces to 10. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's joyous outcome. It's success. It's love. It's warmth. It's vitality. It's confidence. It's freedom. It's joy. It's Leo energy. Something might have happened over the summer here. Or somebody's going to try to transform some kind of a situation here. Okay, so don't forget, now this doesn't have to be your energy. This can be somebody you're dealing with, right? Leo energy now. So show me what else is. Somebody's, somebody's got a long mustache of some sort here. Now, we got the Six of Wands in reverse. Coming in, okay? Look, somebody, there could be a failure to be recognized here with the Six of Wands in reverse. Somebody might have a lack of achievement or like a lack of recognition. It could be a fall from grace. How are you perceiving this? This is Aries energy. So we got Aries and Leo and Scorpio is the most predominant. The 13th could be of significance. Somebody could be 39 here or 69. 69! I always say that's a win for everybody. Playing for your healing sound bath in the background, Aries. It's set at 1150 hertz. 1150 megahertz. This is the Rife. R-I-F-E. 
frequency. It's a parasite removal, okay? Any negative entity attachments, any vampiric energies, any bottom feeding dwellers, any parasitic energy at all, it's being removed. We're using obsidian, black obsidian, okay? So, let's see. How are you perceiving this? You know, okay, there's a new opportunity here. Whatever this is, there's a new beginning. Now, this is what I want to tell you. Let's just say this is a parent, and maybe this parent failed to recognize you or failed to acknowledge you in some way, and there's some kind of transformation that somebody was stuck up in their head about because there was a lack of love. You know, like when somebody doesn't feel loved, whether it's the parent or the child, it doesn't matter. Something happy is going to happen. Even though there's a lack of recognition, there's going to be a new beginning, okay? A new opportunity, new paths opening up, new chances, new adventures. Somebody might be traveling. Show me. Show me. Okay. We have Seven of Cups. It's coming out in reverse. It's in the center of the spread. Somebody here might be overwhelmed by, you know, maybe having a lack of direction or being distracted or confused or a lack of clarity. So, like, somebody's still confused here. Maybe they're feeling overwhelmed by this. Like, maybe somebody wants this new beginning here, but I'm feeling like Six of Pentacles. Okay, well, well. There's some benevolence here. So, listen, if you need some kind of support in any way, on any energetic level, whether it's financially, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, you know, it's here. It's the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles talks about giving and receiving, benevolence, generosity, support, help, gratitude for that. Somebody might want to help somebody here. Somebody may need a hand out or a hand up or maybe to borrow some money here. Definitely. Show me. Now, let's, let me tell you about this Queen of Pentacles. Back it up for a minute. If it's if this is your energy, let's just say, maybe you're just having financial issues. Like, Because it could just be that. It doesn't have to be somebody who's so like, envious and greedy and financially dependent. I mean, it could be, right? Maybe there's an end to that. Maybe You know, you know what I'm saying? So you now you got the two of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. Somebody is overanalyzing a situation here. Maybe about how to help somebody or about the support that they want to offer or accept. You know, it's, it works both ways. Uh, yeah, it's the two of wands in reverse. So there's some kind of fear of the unknown or risk somebody's trying to avoid. Like maybe like, let's just say, for example, if I lend this person money and will I get it back? So I could be confused about the clarity of this beginning. What kind of beginning is this? Show me. I don't seem to be getting the recognition I want in some way. Here, there's a magician. Gemini energy. The alchemist, the magi, the deliberate creator. Somebody's getting their hands dirty and trying to make their dreams a reality by taking some inspired, focused action, okay? Yeah, getting their hands dirty. The first could be of significance. Somebody might have Gemini in their chart. It's creation. It's willpower. It's logic. Yeah. So, I mean, intellect, right? You got to know what you're doing here. So coming in, somebody's manifesting something, building something about emerald, emerald, green emerald. Three is okay. Well, look, whatever this is, somebody's just got some kind of trauma or broken heart over this, right? Whatever transition this is, that seemed like there's a, a seems like it's in someone's mind's eye here, and I feel like it's you, Aries. You know, there's a new beginning here, but you're confused about it. Someone's got some kind of emotional pain, trauma, or heartbreak. It doesn't have to be a third party situation. It could be grief and sadness from anything. Some kind of loss, some kind of tears, some kind of bereavement. Something that someone's manifesting is breaking someone's heart. That's weird. Show me. Show me. Please and thank you. You got the Empress. Well, like, here's the thing. Somebody knows their worth and their value. Somebody, you know, it's the best attributes of all four queens here. Somebody's very fertile and creative. And I'm telling you, whatever somebody's creating here is breaking somebody's heart. It could be for any reason. It could be, you know, maybe maybe somebody's not getting the recognition that they want or whatever this is. Somebody could be pregnant. Could be That could be breaking somebody's heart. Taurus energy. Yeah. So the third could be of significance. We have threes across the board. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Make hurts. Three, three, three. Hurts. Yeah. Show me. That's pure energy of the Ascended Masters, guys. Let me give you 63 here. 66. Yeah. Now, you have the Nine of Wands. See, somebody here is not... <laughs> okay, look. 
This is an energy of when you refuse to give in or give up. You don't, you don't take no for an answer. You're persistent and, you know, you're close to some kind of success. It's like, you know, being very tenacious, right? And it's because somebody knows their worth and their value and somebody's creating something. So even if it's breaking some, somebody's heart, I'm seeing some kind of Valentine's cake. Like, I'm seeing those cakes that hostess come out with on Valentine's Day. They're shaped like hearts and pink. They have candies on them. I don't know. I think somebody's being, you know, somebody's not being included here. Somebody's not getting the recognition that they want. And this is breaking somebody's heart. It just could be because, you know, if this is happening with you, let's just say there's somebody that wants your attention here and you're not able to give it to them because you're busy creating something here and working hard. And this is bothering somebody. You know? Maybe, I don't know if this person needs help or they think you need help or, you know, whatever this is here. But somebody's not giving up on what they're creating. No matter whose heart it's breaking. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. All right, so give me one more card for this, please, and thank you. And now you have the Eight of Cups. It's coming in on the side. See that? Right on its side. Right on the shelf. Meaning that somebody needs to walk away from a situation here, okay? There's something that's very uh, emotionally unfulfilling, okay? But they fear change. They fear the unknown. They're avoiding this. They're stagnant. They could be, you know, just aimlessly drifting around. Just hanging around, like, not leaving and not not leaving. It's like inertia. Somebody's in inertia over here. So I want you to be mindful of this. If there's some situation here that you need to walk away from or transform, got eight to cross the board now. Again, let's remove the negativity. It's time to do it. There might be a lot of competition in a situation. Somebody might be feeling very self-defensive and has to call judgment. And it could be, you know, it could be on a mother or a mother figure. It could be on some kind of a, maybe somebody needs to do something with a loving heart here. Temper their emotions. You do have wishes coming true, Aries. That's really good. That's really good. I want to see what's going on here. Hold on. Ah, I can't get it. Okay. The wheel of fortune's turning in your favor. So maybe you feel like you need to defend yourself. Or maybe you do. There could be competition in a situation. Somebody's standing their ground. Somebody's making a decision calling judgment on whether or not to resurrect the situation from the past. Scorpio energy on the 20th. Could be with a mother or a mother figure. Somebody just needs... Somebody can be very empathetic, kind, and loving. Somebody can be emotionally mature and available here. And just, you know, I mean, it's the queen of cups. Somebody's trying to be, uh, you know, somebody's trying to not lose their temper with this situation. Temperance. This could be a soulmate as well. 14th could be of significance of the 5th. Somebody could be 47 here. Okay. So Sagittarius energy, like I said, this could be a soulmate. Somebody could be resurrecting, deciding on whether or not to resurrect love with soulmate. Whatever this is, it's good, you know, this could involve a marriage, some kind of contractual obligations, or conforming to some kind of rules and regulations. But it's going to bring you in some kind of happiness, Okay. It's going to bring you instability, and it could be a reunion with a soulmate. What am I telling you, right? The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Again, Sagittarius energy. And I'm telling somebody from the fucking past. Look at this. Standing your ground, maybe defending yourself. Whatever the Seven of Wands is for you, it's going to be different. There could be competition in the situation. You could be deciding, or somebody else is, to resurrect the situation of love with a soulmate. Okay? Here, with a soulmate. Wheel of Fortune. Again, that's a soulmate. Luck is in your favor. Good luck, good karma. Decisions that will change your fate of your destiny. Somebody here is going to conform to some kind of traditionalism, okay? Something like this. And, it, you know, you have Aquarius energy. The 17th can be of significance to the 8th. It's a wish come true. It's hope for your future. It's miracles. It's, it's a gift from the divine. It's healing and love and bringing you in a lot of happiness, contentment, and stability. And this could be with somebody from the past. And it's a new opportunity, so we like it. And financial recompenses here, so yeah. All right, so you got all these signs. You got Sagittarius, Taurus, you have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. Yeah. Let's get you some tea. Oh, you know what? Let's get you one line of these. I don't want to just not. I want to do everybody the same. Give me anything else, one line of clarifications or anything else you need. Aries, Aries. By the way, Aries, we love you. Thank you so much, our gods and goddesses of war. First born of the Zodiac, natural born leader. Show them the freak out the fuck it's done. You got a three of pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. Some kind of shared goals or collaboration. Something, yeah. There's a nine of swords. Somebody here, though, is stubborn and refusing to give up. So again, with the nine of swords. All right, so somebody here. You know, this is some kind of depression or fear of this collabor. Somebody's got fear of collaborating with somebody or working together. Somebody's stuck up in their head. Somebody might be losing sleep over this. Yeah. Somebody might be getting depressed. You got a ten of pentacles. Do it. Do it. And you also have the king of wands coming in. All right. So listen. Everything with Sagittarius, whether this is you or somebody else, wands, 
you have to take some kind of deliberate action. What you need to do is get out of your head, okay? I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Because you have the Ten of Pentacles here. So what I'm saying is somebody's got some kind of maybe depression, fear, worry, anxiety. They're having nightmares about whatever this is that they need to do to collaborate with somebody. Maybe take the lead in the situation here. Or collaborate with somebody that else has fire in their truck. It's going to turn into a Ten of Pentacles. And then you're going to look at, ah, I can't even talk. Then you got the star again. If this is your dream come true, Aries. It's wishes and being granted it's hope for your future it's a solid foundation for long-term resources and abundance it's the ten of pentacles it's legacy okay it's family it be something that you're building maybe you're somebody stuck up in their head here i don't know well, remember i said somebody's building something here and whatever they're building is breaking somebody else's heart because i think that they're not a part of it but this is you and this is your dreams coming true here and a gift from the divine okay you could be sharing some kind of knowledge here and helping people yeah look at this it's going to be solid you have love coming in too, Aries, if you don't have it already. Somebody's focused on their goals, cancer energy, it's some kind of a uh, success that they want, and they want control over it. So, yeah, I mean, you know, who better than an Aries, right? Let's get you the tea. Please and thank you, the tea. Here we go. All right. So, somebody's trying to dig up some dirt. Somebody's got a bad reputation. I tell you all the time, I just heard this on the, on the and yes, it's Joan Jett, okay, and the black card. Yeah. Someone's in love with their bad reputation. Oh, they're fine with their bad reputation. Having a bad reputation is better than no fucking reputation. Somebody's digging dirt. Somebody's trying to find out something. Or you are. Somebody's got love on the brain here. I told you that you're going to get love, Aries. Somebody can be dreaming. Somebody can be feeling nostalgic or sentimental right now. Somebody from the past is coming back around. Because they're sick of crying over you. All right? That's what it comes down to. Be careful any bullshit, uh, superficial people that are smiling in your face. All right? One more. One more for Aries. Please and thank you. Okay, here we go. Moving. Somebody can be moving. Moving on, moving, period. Moving boxes, a moving truck, a storage unit. Somebody with a baseball cap. What's the T here? Creativity. Somebody's trying to copy all your shit, Aries. But what else is new, right? Well, first born of the Zodiac, natural born leader. Show them how it's done. And then, you know, it's okay, though. It's, a, it's the highest form of a compliment. Here's some uh, hidden truths. By the way, can somebody, for the love of God, hit the like and subscribe out there. Aries, you're about to have all your wishes come true. You got the star card twice, okay? I mean, yeah, this is it. Brace yourself. You know, tsunami warning, but tsunami of happiness and joy and new beginnings and, you know, love and renewal and miracles. A tsunami of miracles. Holy fucking shit, Aries. Good for us. Okay, I don't react when people mention you. Yeah, but they're, but they're trying to find out how to... Where you are, what you're doing, so they can come back. It was their fault, but somebody blamed you. So somebody didn't want to take responsibility, and you and I were too young. You were too young for something, Aries. Now, somebody replays the conversations over and over and over again. So, yeah. Okay, let's get you some letters, and we'll let you go. Thank you again so much, guys. We love you. Okay, here we go. Something about a venting system, a vent, vents in the sky, like in the sky, in the ceiling. In the fucking sky, listen to me. <laughs> okay. Something on the down low. We got two ends here. Something about AI. This is a blank. Two A's. And VM. Okay. N N V M S T D L R. Two A's, I, Y, and a blank. Close the energy. Thank you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. Until next time, love, light, and laughter.